Okay, okay I'm here with Jack from B1 Third. We're just going how high? Eight metres. Eight metres up in a tree in uh, the centre of, almost the centre of the CBD to deal with this big mama. And how long do you think it's been here? We got notified about four or five weeks ago, just before Christmas. Okay, so it's about, could be six weeks old. It looks pretty soft. It's on a very flimsy branch and left here much longer. She's gonna to drop to the ground. So what our plan is to um, douse it in sugar syrup, use plenty of smoke. We're gonna put our veils on, we're gonna cut the branch and we're gonna lower it to the ground and deal with it. So we're just um, drenching them with sugar syrup. One, it's a good distractant, and two, it really settles them down on the comb. They can't really fly as well. And the object of this exercise is to cut this branch down as gently as possible and lower it to the ground. You want to chop it? You want it? I'm I, fine with it. I reckon that's going to be fine. How's that weight? Yeah, Bring just, it back towards us. That's good, that's good, that's good. Cool. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty weighty. Hey, coming down. Just one sec. Sorry. <laughs> I can douse them. No, you're good. Down we go there. No, I can smell Nazanoff. It's excellent. You got some comb at your feet. Have I? Much? Uh, no, a little bit. I'm just going to reverse up a little bit. Make sure you go the right direction. Okay. One sec. Yep, you good? Wait a sec. Got it. Okay, we're good now. Okay. We down? Yep, we're down. All right, so I'll lean it over yep. and I'll be able to, so if you can get your hands under the branches, I well, once I get it over there. I think you've got to come over. I'll yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll come across. Just one sec, I've got a bunch of bees at my feet. Yep, that's really right, what I squish. You're going to bring it all the way over. Yep. 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 Okay, you, you good? I think the best option is going to be to shake. Yeah, but the comb's going to be so loose, though, Scott. Yeah, it'll fall off. Some of it will fall off. It's, it's just, it will definitely be the best way to find the queen. Yeah, have you got any frames of foundation? Yep. Got three, I think, in one box. Okay. All right. Action. Can you just pass me the smoker? Just get on, get on the moving. Super sturdy, is it? No, this one's the one I want. Right, oh, oh, look at that. We've got a bucket full of brood. Got to cook up the queen. You bastard! <laughs> Show the camera. Spoiling all my fun. Right, that's a game changer. We don't need to shake now. You want to handle it? Ben. Pays to have two sets of eyes. It does. Well, well done, Jack. Spoiled my fun. Makes it a lot easier. She's not super huge. Let's hope there's only one. Yeah. So Jack's done an amazing job finding that queen in the bucket. 
she'd gone right down. There's a few, few combs of brood that have dropped off and then she's just walking around the bottom of the bucket. Yep. Nice works. So now we don't have to shake these bees off as such. We just need to get enough off that we can frame up the, the brood and get it into this box here. So your big um, branch is that one here. Yep, got that. So we'll just have to be super gentle because it is quite soft. Soft. Okay, so that's all brood. And it's here we've got swarm cells. Fairly developed swarm cells as well. Okay, so if we look here, we've got queen cells. Pretty nice looking queen cell. It's going to be a big queen. If you look inside, let me see if we can see inside. We're just going to peel it back. That was going to be uh, a queen. Probably in another, well, within another week. So do you get rid of the bees first, or do you...? Uh, we can probably just do it... Frame them up? Frame them up. Do you have uh, rubber bands? Bands, you've got a frame. Yep. Do you need those scissors? Oh, you got one frame? Yeah. Let me get rid of some of those bees, huh? Let's get them. We'll get some in here. Sure. <laughs> so one good way to shake bees off a fragile piece of comb like this is to get a really good grip on it and then do that now we're going to pop the lid on that Push the knife. I'm going to just move our queen I might just pop the queen right in the bottom actually we can shake them at the front door and they're going to run in. Like that. That one. So we'll do this one as well. So this one's because my the queen's in there, it's just all the bees are going to walk in the hive and follow her pheromone. You can actually see them marching in. So that's all drone comb on that one. We may not save that, depending on everything. So we'll get this first frame in, which is going to be really attractive for them as well. We'll keep it the right way up. So see how that's got three points of contact. I usually put two rubber bands around at each point because mm -hmm. they want to chew it off. All oh, right. Okay. So, so you know you've always got a a backup. Sure. You won't put another frame of brood in there? Uh, we will. Just not yet. But I just thought I'd get that in there so they've got something extra to attract them in.
Okay, I think I'm going to have to shake these a bit because it's too many. Okay, I'm going to shake it right there in front of the box. No, I just can't lift it up. So we've got a bunch over there. I wouldn't put too much. Bit of a show happening. Tonight, but by tomorrow night they should all be in and Jack can duck 
chuck in and take them away. Hey, mate. How you going?